shoot. I forgot to turn on studio mode. Well, oh well, too late. Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. Um, <laughs> I wasn't quite wet ready for that, but hey, we'll start. It's a bit late anyway, it's almost 4.30, or 7.30. What time is it? 7.30, anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have had a great week. We are halfway through with the week. Um, as a Before we get properly started, as a reminder, I will not be streaming next week or the week after that is the next two weeks are off and that means specifically the last week of december and the first week of january i will not be streaming on twitch okay so with that all done i have a link tree and i have a patreon check them both out please if not that's okay i won't hold it against you i'll be sad but i won't hold it against you i remain impartial uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but, uh, but, 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 yeah, that's it. Let's get started. Stop wasting time. Yeah, I was just check. I meant to turn on studio mode to check my camera, make sure everything was looking good. And it looks good. Yeah. Not quite what I was ready for, but hey, it is what it is. Yippee, yay, yo, kai, yay. Not to be confused with Yippee-I-Yo Kanye. Hello. Someone else slept off work and now it's your turn. Well, Alrighty. I'm on it. We were, yeah, I said it. We were going to interrogate some bitch. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Show me. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Ponytail physics. All right, tricky dick. Be straight with us about the bombings, yeah? We know you did the embassy, tone, and all the rest. The earlier bombings, what are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. But you knew about Zero Day when you approached us. I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Maybe you're telling the truth, but you've done enough damage. You won't be leaving here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. God fuck imperialism. 
Fuck nationalism. Fuck any of that. What's happening? Doing, I've got some bad news. DedSec Toronto's gone. I'm sorry? What do you mean by gone? There's no one left. Mounties rounded them all up for the embassy bombings. Fucking hell! If we don't find Malik soon, we'll end up like our Canadian brothers. We have Malik. Well, He's right there. My brothers. Your cousins, I guess? <laughs> You'll like it. All right, hold on. All right. It's got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going on. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently, it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Would we'll mind a drink while we plan out to give Nigel Bloody Cass a black eye? Third degree bands. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik. Just a former SIRS agent and a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. It could be something big. Let's hear it then. And when you've got a moment, give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? Oh, I don't need a... I don't need a... Encouragement what for that. What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it. Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. All right. Uh, maps? Yeah. She's sleeping. Scouting. Uh, yeah, we'll sit in the spy. Melissa Fulton. Or Fulton, I think is what it was. Fulton or Fulton. She's pretty cool. I was just looking at her, though. To answer your rude question, yes, I do have an accent. Anything else? You've been activated. Do you need a minute? Lucky you. This is 
where that journalist mysteriously vanished while she was looking into SIRS mysteriously vanishing people. Hmm. I'd like to look into that. I thought we might be able to get ahead of those Stasi wannabes at SRS, but I'm seeing signs of a struggle. I've tagged a few pieces of evidence that I can analyze more closely if you get me some high-resolution stills. It looks like there's something interesting under that car. Move it so we can have a closer look. Tire tracks left relatively recently. 24.9 inch diameter. Common size for a large chassis vehicle like a truck or a van. A notepad file is open. Looks like a journalist's. I've added a transcript to your data drive. We know she was here at least. Good lad. Someone spray-painted the security cameras. Shite. What's next? Oh, calm down. Did you think I had you take all those photos for my invite feed? If you find the CTOS hub, I can cross-reference the stills you took with the security feed and isolate the moments before the journalist was taken. It may contain a clue. All right. Here is the image just as the camera was blacked out. Notice the van in the background. The partial license plate number indicates this is a government vehicle. This confirms the journalist was most likely abducted by SIRS. 
You know who might know where an SIRS operative would take a questionably legally detained journalist? Another SIRS operative. I've got Malik on the line. I don't trust him. Do you have to? I suppose I might have an agenda. Then again, I might just be bored. Get to the point. Look closely at the paint in the security still. It's not commercial. That's Kark paint. Chemical resistant. Military. Do you remember earlier when you saved me from Albion? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, come on, that was fun. Anyway, I didn't want the day to be a waste, so I installed a worm in their comms equipment that fed me, among other things, data on their supply requisitions. I just gave Bagley access to it. Looks like Albion just ordered a crate of cart paint in that colour to the Albion internment centre. Pushing the coordinates now. This is the Albion Internment Center. That journalist who was investigating the SIRS illegal kidnapping program should be inside.
to finally have my work appreciated. You're welcome. Get her out. I don't see anyone following you. I owe you my life. Thanks for your help and everything, but we have to keep this short. If I can't get out of this Aisha. country tonight, I am colossally buggered. Well, I'm with DadSec. How can we help? All right, then. Maybe you can help. You see, Sir's found a legal loophole that's let them arrest you for anything they want. Did your butler's beagle have its hair cut by the same groomer as one of the tone bombers? Well, then sirs can arrest you without a warrant, and the snoopers' charter makes it legal. I don't understand. How could they possibly do that? Ever since London got on CTOS, sirs has full access to every email, every phone call, every CCTV stream, everything. When you give over that level of information to the government, the question isn't how could they do it, it's how could they not? I see. How makes long sense. Will it take? Here, we can help you, Lalo. I'm sending you an address. Someone will meet you there with a passport and some instructions for getting out safely. Stay in touch. Once the journalist makes it to safety, I'll make DedSec resources available to her so she can finish her story. Not a bad idea, Bagley. Excuse me.
Parks and Reclamation. <laughs> Thanks for checking in, Chief. Me, I've been sort of torn up lately. An old friend of mine got jumped the other night. I want to go visit him, but... Well, you know. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it was a pack of fuckers from EPAF. They knew my mate ain't from here. They kept yelling, England first, England first, as they kicked the shit out with him. How can we help? I don't know. I don't know. Poor bastard. It's a classic paradox. The shittier a society gets, the less willing everyone is to share it. There's been a spike in anti-immigrant violence lately, perpetrated by organized groups like the EPAF. <sighs> Fucking hell, Bagley. Is this going somewhere? The EPAF, or English Patriotic Action Front, appears to be unusually well-funded and organized. They could be connected to some larger criminal enterprise. Bears further scrutiny, I'd say. Hey. Hmm. Body is there on on a job, so I'll send her in. Dead sec calling. You're up. That's what I'm talking about. This is Kennington okay? Park. Local news reports oh, indicate it's been occupied by a group of violent xenophobes calling themselves the English Patriotic Action Front. EPAF right there. One interesting email on here. It seems the EPAF answers to someone calling themselves Kingfisher, who is pushing them to attack immigrants. Interesting. What else you got? The laptop's GPS indicates a location where Kingfisher regularly meets with at least one EPAF member. I doubt they go there to swap football stickers or pick each other's hooves. 
Good place to go digging for information. Let's check it out. Pushing the coordinates now. Thirty miles. That's it. <laughs> sleeping. Uh, working. Sleeping. Sleeping. Policing. She's working. Sleeping. Sleeping. At a retirement home until nine. Aww. Ah, excuse me. Um, I feel like most people. Ooh, she's not asleep. Um, okay, yeah, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna call Darcy in to meet us. Swap to her. Team Darcy. Ms. Darcy. That's good, let's go. Yeah. Better blend in. This. this is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. Maybe later. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, um, I don't think consoles cross over. Um, I don't cr think consoles cross over with, uh, with computer. I think, like, I think you can cross play with Xbox and PlayStation, but I don't think you can cross play with, uh, with, that the consoles can cross play with PC. Um, sorry, I didn't see, initially see your message. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I I know with um Rainbow Six Siege how it works is that PC crossover crosses over with Stadia. 
um and then xbox and and ps5 or playstation crossover with each other um and i think that's how they do it with their other competitive games as well uh how ubisoft does it with their competitive games but uh and so it would make sense that they might do the same thing with Watch Dogs Legion, but uh, I honestly don't know for sure. Um, the way to find out would be Google. Check it out on Google, see what they say. But probably not is my thought. I hope that helps. No, no, no. What is this? Another bloody idiot. Always good to change your look. I have not tried, no. Um, I've not played online with this game yet. Um, I've been m mainly trying to stick to the single player for the uh, purposes of storyline. And most of the people <sighs> that I know that have this game uh also play it on place on anything on pc like i do so that wouldn't exactly be able to help much either where am i going what am i trying to do oh over there right really go to the wrong spot. No. Oh, I see. Okay. Hi, lady. another set of stairs down I think who the fuck is that no all right well That's what I'm looking for. Okay. genuinely just said well fuck the person <laughs> uh fuck the fuck the cop that i was right, right next to uh i uh, sorry yeah no i don't i don't know for sure um but i don't think they do that playstation 5 and pc crossover i don't think they do I've not tried it, um, but I don't think they do. Uh, you can you can always try, you know, um, and you can also check with uh, you can also check online to see what Google says. But 
I don't have any personal experience one way or the other. Your friend's just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. I suppose it's on me to clean up their mess then. This is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. Oh, you can hear me twice? Uh, let me check a thing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. There's the delay. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm not sure why you can hear me twice. But it's coming through, it's not... It's not on my side of things. Because I'm coming through, uh... Just fine on my stream. Sorry. Can anybody else in who's watching uh, confirm whether or not I'm coming through twice or not? I have someone watching uh in I have someone watching who's ta talking to me through Discord saying that there's no echo that they only hear me once. So yeah. Sorry. Uh it's it's apparently on your side of things. Thank you, my friend, Queen, for uh, checking that. Why do we have to meet in a police station? Makes me feel edgy. It's good cover. If anyone sees you, they'll assume the old Bill picked you up. Just weird to be sitting here without the old bracelets is all. So what have you got for us? Names. It's a list of people in this neighborhood that Filament tells us will be prone to violence if provoked. You want us to start some fights? The bloodier the better. We want some nice, scary ultraviolence for Gran and Grandad on the evening news. Is that a problem? How do we know this won't come back on me and mine? Sirs wants the same thing you want. Everyone out of the Oval and the immigrant crisis resolved. You'd be doing a public service. <laughs> 
Public servant. Who'd have thought, eh? Multiple files added to the data drive. And would you look at that? Kingfisher is an SIRS officer, so they're the ones funding the EPAF. Sirs again? My god, what aren't they into? It's all here in the audio file, or you could just ask Kingfisher himself. The Met are lending him an office in this very police station. Say again? Why? Maybe it cuts down on his commute. How should I know? Find him and take him out so we can put an end to this EPAF business. Surroundings. Drone, perform a search. Oh, I don't think that was a cop. My bad. That is a lot of contraband. So my objective is over here. Are you new? Citizens, if you see something, say something. Oh, the last one. Oh, wrong button. Come on, open that up. There we go. Be 
militia is down. That should make it harder for those xenophobic goons to get their intolerant hands on military weaponry at the very least. Wish the same could be said for Albion. On a related note, you should probably scarf her. that B are trying to provoke immigrant violence to justify coming down on them like a ton of pricks. Suggestions? I've asked Malik for his analysis. The surface will bury it if you release that recording to the media, so you'll have to self-distribute. Sir's protocol says to do two things. Sow disinformation on the internet and distance themselves from the incident. Propaganda works. So no one will know what's true, and by the time the dust settles, anyone who could incriminate them will be gone. Let's do it. Agreed. Done. The fuck's your problem? You've been activated. Blink twice if you need backup. Ah, oh, this is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Don't knock it till you try it, bruv. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Could we stop before they even start? And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Jesus fucking... Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Think about it. Everything happened right in front of the cameras. We better check the attack site and get some answers. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. Dead set calling. You ready? I got you. Let's do it. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Cuz, if I had something to hide, I'd clear it fast too, know what I mean? 
This shit is wonky. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Safe, Bagley. That's some real tech of shit there. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. On it. up for a pint and an eight ball. I'm going to need a bit more data for me to reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. I know you're here somewhere. Not in here. Moving elsewhere. Shit. I'll check in with Central. You mean now? does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. All right, so this Egypt uses professional weapons, but who is it? I'll take a look.
searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. Then what we saw was a real hit. Attempted hit, anyway. Not some false flag bollocks. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Run the plates too, Bugs. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this man off. Hmm. If there's mutiny afoot in Albion, we could spin that to our advantage. Let's start investigating the truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Swear down! The Tone crater! That's wonk. Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, innit? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Totally. Another escape. I just start keeping score. DedSec discovered that Hamish's contact from within Albion, reminder that Albion is the one of the big three villains in the game, um, a man named Radu Florin, the contact, was responsible for uh, attempting to kill Nigel Cass, who is the leader and owner of Albion. Uh, the wreckage of the armored van he used in the attack, as well as his corpse, were both quickly removed and sent to the Tone. Uh, one of the sites targeted in the Zero Day bar bombings. Get to the tone and discover why Radu attacked Cass. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to decide who I want to send in. Uh, well, it's an Albion or construction worker's site, so let's, um, where's my construction worker? What's she currently doing? Uh, where are you at? There you are. Sleeping. That's fine. You work hard. Earn your rest. Uh... Watching a film with a friend. Don't want to interrupt that. Um... Oh, he's having dinner with his wife. Hmm. I guess I will send in the spy. You know, spies, bunch of bitchy little girls. We need to pull you off your tail for now. Are you ready to fight? Naturally. It was a rhetorical question. <sighs> I'm at the tow in sight. Is this really where the truck from the Finsbury attack is being kept? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. Let's have a look around. This is not our first time at the tone built at the tone site um in this game. <laughs> she hasn't spoken for nearly a week. Do you know why? She's no, not on me. Here. Oh, there, huh? 
This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. <clears throat> but even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. I'm on it. Hang on. What was that? I have made some mistakes. Give me some support, no! Dispatch, deploying drones to apprehend suspects. Was abrupt. All I wanted to do was to check some to check some corpses. The rate of decomposition on this body is inconsistent with the time of death of our attacker. It's not him. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. Well deserved, I'd say. This corpse is promising. Fresh and badly burned. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Damaged? I thought you'd see that as a challenge, Bagley. I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Ah. I understand. Albion is using this place as dumping ground for bodies. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. Something, something, something that tracks, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sounds about right.
I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Do your thing, Bagley. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice, Themis, drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and you always hated it when I used my big up words. I, I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. Jesus fuck. Albion had their Themis drones deployed in London airspace this entire time. We've been one system upgrade away from Arma fucking Geddon. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Bagley, why did you keep a copy of the project data? That's dangerous stuff. I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. Give Agnes a go. We haven't uh, sent her out on anything in a bit. This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. There you go.
Oh, I think my game just crashed. Okay, there we go. Luckily, no crash. it for the encryptors you can now upload the virus using the central antenna yep 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 okay here we go i'm reading incoming drones don't tell me it's themis no 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 these aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones they're just the normal drones that also kill you
beautiful fucking sight. That's it for Themis, fam. No coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. On it. His plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Cass is practically untouchable right now. He has the drones, the army, the people's support. Half of this city thinks DedSec are terrorists. If we go against him head on, there's no proving them wrong. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Hashtag justice for Claire, interesting. Who are we going to the briefing as? Let's go to the briefing as Darcy. Is she out of prison? She is. Ready for action? Why not? Map. Travel over here. All right, sorry about that. I had to quickly handle something on the other screen. that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. The mendacious prick. We stop him from implementing a genuine reign of terror, and now here he is playing victim for the cameras. And it's working. That's Sorry, what they that do. was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. As it happens, we have an idea about that. Bagley, your show. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there.
Okay. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? I suspect her and Deadset could have quite the productive relationship. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. I bet she's no longer alive. All right, let's quickly swap her out to her default. Give her give her a chance to blend in a bit. Hair out. I love her hair. Go hair out. Yeah. Put down hair out. A mask. Oh god, I forgot how terrifying that thing is without the hood. Um God, I love the design of it though, but no, we're gonna go with where is it? We have a much less extreme version, if I can find it. There it is. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. If we can find her, I'm sure everyone she's antagonized can too. Let's make haste. <sighs> Excuse me. Someone got to her. What the hell did she do to deserve that? I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. I will not be lectured on emotions by a robot. I'm going to investigate and fume at the same time, and I expect you to damn well tolerate it. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty... I would be surprised if she wasn't dead. These footprints tell you anything? Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Check their customers' bags. I bet you'll find Albion. Look at that. It's like if Clan Kelly took out bus stop adverts. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Real criminals don't leave calling cards. Something's off. Claire's tablet. The killers were sloppy. Scan it, bags. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. Poor woman. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... 
proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> Security, drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do! Take that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance. So they killed the witness. Fuck me! Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's gotta be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is exactly what we need to bury Cass for good. He's going to pay for what he did to Claire, just like he'll pay for what he did to London. Now, the killer mentioned Carousel. That's Carousel Plaza, right? Albion's propaganda library? Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. to blend in. The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. Good, because after Freight 1, I've got some aggression to work out. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? Oh, totally vile. Yeah. What was that? Who's next? Always good to change your look. Never seen this toss-up before. There we are. equipment including her secure storage drive which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with so the audio evidence is probably still intact job done
need to stop sending Darcy into shit because you go in, you hack a thing, it inevitably turns into combat, and Darcy is not specced for combat. She's specced for stealth. And there is literally no combat aspect to her. Like, she's got these two pistols. However, this one takes forever to reload. This one's a berserk dart, which doesn't ex which neither are meant for confrontation like that. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, let's go with you. is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. Honestly, I'd rather be dead than in prison. Have you seen those uniforms? Time for an infestation. Still looking. Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. That's where the game crashed. Okay. <sighs> Bear with me. And you'll be right back into the game ahead of us. Do, 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 do. needs you on something about bloody time <sighs> okay the stolen evidence is here somewhere watch out Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene there's also a lot of them around 
Good, because after Freight 1, I've got some aggression to work out. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? How about you get on the ground? You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool. This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. <coughs> I've already worked it out. The ideal target for the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tact teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now Scarper, or they'll kill you for sure. that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there to the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. He's sleeping. Leah's sleeping. But we ain't gonna offend Leah, but we might. You know what? Let's send Aiden. Where is Aiden? What are you doing, Aiden? Aiden, sleeping. French? French, what are you doing? Mining cryptocurrency. Yeah, you can, you can, you can be uh, interrupted from that. Dead set calling. You're up. Sweet. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tact teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hamish! My dude! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at you outside! Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! <coughs> well, we were never gonna stop Albion by killing just one. Oof. <laughs> 
sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. So we're all done, right? Don't Case celebrate bus. until time for a vacation. It's actually there is still done. the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't it's last not long. not a victory until it's solidly done. Until he's, act until he's actually lost the court case and has been, you know, put behind bars, it's not actually a victory. Don't celebrate too soon. Never celebrate too soon. <clears throat> I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. Shot. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. To shut up and listen to me, I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Well... Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to he take it to the streets any shallow end. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go with her. Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he likes to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Yeah, I'd better get to dealing with Cass, huh? Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. It doesn't happen in his lifetime. I haven't seen that. Uh. Uh. This is not my preferred use of handcuffs. <laughs> the guy I just arrested said, This is not my preferred use of handcuffs. Damn. <laughs> Where is it? 
Oh, it's all the way over there, okay. Suspect. Okay. All right. We're going to take a brief break. I got to run to the bathroom. We'll be right back to continue this shit fast. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Back into it. Oh fuck. Reloading! 
not gonna go well. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, where's she at? Captain. Albion mandated timeout. You're up. Honestly, I'd rather be dead than in prison. Have you seen those uniforms? be in your lifetime. I'm gonna say I just arrested you, dumbass. Tyranny. You're the one who wants to be a fucking the dictator. takes care of security, you can now access the elevator to the bunker. Okay, and that is on the other side of the area, okay. That was a good hit.
Ooh, cannot leave the bunker or swap operatives until Cass is defeated. Oh. I don't want to do this boss fight as Jessica. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> Oh, 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 over here. Okay. Come on, get. Alright, we're clear. Now, I want going to go in here. Team. Leah, where are you at? Oh. Fantastic! Fantastic! You're it. Ready to go? Always. Damn. Uh. Okay, I'm not that far from where that was. Ha! over there nope instead you fall down all, all the way There we go. This is control. An alarm has been activated near you. Survey the area. God, she looks fucking badass in that mask. Whoever tripped the alarm, they're gone. Drone, perform a search. I'm ready. Sorry, I needed I needed my favorite character in there that's not um Darcy, you're eight in the So range. you've come to end it, have you, dead sick? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance Zero Days set in motion? My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. You Let am show an you. idiot. Well, it's too well, it's too well, it's Your weapon 
weapons are useless against that drone Cass is wearing. Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. Cass has called in reinforcements. What a surprise. Oh, I'm full on that. Okay, ah! that, yeah, that works. Again. against that drone Cass is wearing. Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. Cass has called in reinforcements. What a surprise. Uh. 
Station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements. fast enough <sighs> okay skip skip your weapons are useless against that drone Cass is wearing complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations Cass has called in reinforcements what a surprise Revealed. The EMP works. Fire away. The first EMP station is depleted. Power up the next one with a network bypass. More forces oh, incoming. Shit. Check your tail. EMP station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements.
Reduction damage. Don't waste time. There we go. Let's get this over with. It looks ridiculous. It's time to end this. I will make London great again. Will you? I wish I'd brought Aiden in, but it kind of it's fitting that it's Leah. Because she's the one that I declared the leader of the gang. Of the group. I'm impressed. Think your little resistance is ready to be London's protectors. Taking you out seems like a pretty good start. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. The people can decide what is and isn't good for them. <sighs> there it is. Death sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets? Well, I used to have faith in people, too. No, I don't think you did. I got a good man killed once. <gasps> He got a good man killed once. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest from zero day as well. A mad dog dead sick needed to be done. This calls for a celebration, innit? And now that I'm not being hunted by a psychopath, I think I'd like to see that safe house of yours. Link me there. Why do I feel like Hamish? Why do I, why am I now suddenly suspicious? of Hamish. <laughs> Nothing to say? She have a red outline. Kate, then tell me your Do boy has a, a stripper. At least your handcuffs. The coppers know how to let loose. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him. And with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. Dead sick is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. 
Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team DadSec. For real though, why do you, lady, have a red outline? Does anybody else have a red outline? to see you now. It's high time you logged off the dark web for a second and took a break, eh? A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. We finally got you to come over to Ayres. Does this mean you're ready to go steady? Nah, mate. Got to maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is going to hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam. They won't pack it in so easily. Hope their sex got some fight left in it. What do you know, Malik? Oi, Malik, if you've got a funny joke, why don't you share it so we can all have a laugh? And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky and Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? I've been thinking that for a while, to be fair. We have a problem. Come talk to me. No shit. I love Darcy just sacked out on the fucking couch. <laughs> such a vibe. Darcy's such a vibe. Oh, yeah? Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Dead Set Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired to a remote device labeled Blue Britannia. What the fuck? Dead Set. The name is Zero Day. We've met before in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. Zero Day stolen our shit. Here's where I would remind them. So to my recollection, only one person survived the initial purge of the dead sec from uh, when the tone bombings happened. There were there was the guy we played as in the intro who died. Um, was killed by Albion. And uh, there was a few others, but there's only one person who survived other than Bagley. And that is the chick who's been occasionally talking to us over voice a video voice video chat. The one voiced by Mary Reed. Not Mary Reed. The one voiced by the actress who voiced um 
God, was it Mary Reed? Is that the character's name? Oh God, this is gonna bother me now. Let me look. Yes, Mary Reed in Assassin's Creed 4. The one who voiced Mary Reed in Assassin's Creed 4. Like, I could see the character's face. I was just blanking on the name. Um, she... Oh. I've thought that it was convenient that she survived, but I filed that away for later um, based off of the fact that she was the one who was starting DeadSec up again. And mm. you said I've been trying to warn you about the zero day threat if I was an unfeeling machine. Bagley, can you trace that signal? I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. If not, there's the detective. Hamish. Everybody else is dipped except for Malik. And these two. Interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. If I open this door, shit's gonna happen, isn't it? Ten o'clock. We'll see what's waiting for us on the other side of this door, and then the rest will be. Ha we'll have to wait till after the holidays. Good cliffhanger for the holidays. I've sent you the general location of the zero day hacker signal. As I said, I don't have their specific coordinates, so you'll have to search the area. Good luck and Godspeed. Beautiful, Bagley. Okay. So we actually didn't have a lot waiting for us, but um, we're still going to call it there and have the and t pick this up after the holidays. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for continuing this journey with me. Um, I am excited to see what comes next when we actually go after Zero Day themselves. Um, so... I think it would have been interesting if they had randomly picked one of my randomly recruited people, but I think it's going to be the chick from the original Dead Set crew that got wiped out. I think she's going to be the she or Hamish, one of those two, because um, those are the two that I'm majorly sus of right now. Um, Hamish, because of Cass, uh, uh, Nigel Cass's dying words about having killed a, having killed a uh, good man once or something like that. Um, and the other one because how did she survive the initial purge? You know? Like, why did she survive? How did she survive? That's... Like, it could be a coincidence, but also... Hmm. But anyway... We'll figure out how that goes next year. And we are close enough to the end of the year to be able to say that next year. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for me for the night. Before we head out, be sure to check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. And speaking of that link tree, you should go there and check out my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. If you go to my Patreon and support me through my Patreon, you are able to... Help me out and uh, make sure that I'm able to continue this content and maybe even help shape this content as we go forward. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. But also, what's in that link tree is a uh, lot of stuff. There's my socials, my Discord, my uh, YouTube, where you can catch all my the VODs of all my other streams with the, uh, for free. Um, there's, uh, what else is there? My throne wish list where you can get me awesome stuff if you, to show your appreciation. And, um, yeah, that, yeah. So check that out. Check all that out. Throne, th uh, throne.com slash crimson knight, patreon.com slash crimson knight, link tree slash crimson knight. Um, so yeah, 
feel free to check all that out. If not, it's fine. If I like, I don't hold it against you, you know. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, like I already said, that's it for me for the night. We'll be back on Friday with more Gotham Knights, and that will be our last stream of the year. I am excited for it. Um, hit myself in the face with my own necklace. It's fine. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.